the DLD Innovation Festival in Tel Aviv, Israel. The language here is tech speak and the spirit is global. Top technology companies of the world, Amazon, Intel, Facebook, Twitter are all here to showcase their latest offerings and they're competing for space with startups from 21 different countries. We are here to find out what's next in technology and what are the future trends that people are talking about. So let's go find out. It's actually the first time that we're doing this at Intel, and the reason is because DLD is an innovation festival, and you have, I don't know how many thousands of people, you know, coming, and you know, today's Intel, we're, it's our vision, our mission, our statement is connecting people in a smart way worldwide. We're all about innovation, that's what we do. And so it was very appropriate for us to be able to come to an innovation festival and show what we're doing. At Intel and see the cool things that we're doing, that are beyond what people may know. You know, people know the chips that we make, the CPUs that we make, you know, people know that. People don't know that we make, you know, wireless technology, Y-Gig technology, wireless display technology, perceptual computing technology, you know, that we have charging bowls and, and earbuds that take your blood pressure and that we have, you know, big data on Parkinson with the Michael J. Fox Foundation and there's all this other stuff that we're doing that, you know, people just may not be aware of. So it's a great place to come and see what we're doing. I think that the next, maybe the final, uh, probably not the final, but maybe the final uh, phase of uh, ALM is serverless application, where you can use your, uh, let's say, the real platform as a service, where you pay as you, as you go per use. How you can use all these building blocks like Lambda, S3, DynamoDB, uh, in order to build your serverless application, which means that your entire application will be without running without any, any single server, any single instance or VM. This gathering of entrepreneurs, investors and startups with over 3,000 visitors from overseas puts the Digital Life Design Festival in Tel Aviv on par with its counterpart in San Francisco, London, Munich and Beijing. DLD Tel Aviv 2015 was all about showing what the company is working on next and promoting the latest technology offering. So uh, we launched Fabric as a modular uh, platform for mobile developers uh, back in October, so almost a year ago now. And uh, since then we've been traveling the world to meet developers. And what Fabric is, is essentially a way to build better apps for mobile. So it doesn't matter if you're building for iOS or for Android, it's actually quite challenging to build great mobile apps that your users will really like. It's really hard to make them stable, make them reliable, but it's also hard to monetize. Like all these challenges are always the same, day in and day out. So for us, Fabric was a way to like, try to tackle as many of these challenges as possible and help developers build better apps. One of the latest tools uh, we launched as part of Fabric is a product called Digits and it's a way to uh, enable developers to build phone number based signed up. So it's completely free and if you want to build an app where your users sign in with their phone number, you can do that in just a few lines of code with Digits, which is also part of Fabric. Uh, we are uh, visiting Tel Aviv, most of us for the first time, so uh, we are really curious to, uh, to hear where, about the great startups that are here in Israel and just meet the great tech uh, ecosystem around here. DLD 2015 also saw the launch of the world's first global hospital search engine called Archimedix. Composed of millions of data points, the Archimedix database allows people to search in nine languages for the best hospital on the planet for their medical needs. Think about Expedia for Medical, where the user simply enters in our search box. Uh, either a medical condition or a medical procedure that he's looking for, presses the button and within no time we provide objective rankings of hospitals across the world based on that specific medical procedure. Starting the journey there were three main challenges which are very major barriers to entry. 
first to identify which are the parameters which directly impact each and every uh, elective procedure, number one. Once we identified the parameters, the second challenge was to collect the information of these parameters in a non-biased, objective way. Once we were able to do this, uh, the third challenge was to determine a different weight for each parameter as part of the algorithm. And this algorithm and methodology was certified by HIMSS Europe. Apart from the multinationals, the other big names in attendance were France's Minister of Economy, the inventor of the USB flash drive, a former president of Israel who has also won the Nobel Peace Prize and Government of India's Telecom Secretary too. Along with a high-profile panel of speakers, journalists and editors from over 20 countries were in attendance. And as the audience list ran into well over 10,000, this was acknowledged as a milestone for the organizers of this event. How the festival format started so uh, succeeded so well so we don't say that we were surprised we say we are geniuses we we forecasted it you know but the truth that this the success is overwhelming us and the result you saw today people are waiting in line for 30 minutes dld 2015 was at the end of the day about building an international network of those creating and using technology in its myriad forms with Tel Aviv at the center of it all. And from the looks of it, this objective was well achieved.